There has been a lot of progress in the years since the beast destroyed much of Fort McMurray. Now, a new generation is thriving out of the ashes. Dozens of babies were born during and in the aftermath of the disaster. Deemed fire babies, today they're gathering in a local park for a unique family photo. Our David Thurton is there. He joins us now live. David, tell us a little bit more about what's been going on up there today. Uh, sorry, Alicia, I think the question kind of cut out there, but yeah, you know, this was a park filled with moms, dads, and their babies, and uh, wildfire babies in particular. And what is a wildfire baby? Well, a wildfire baby is a baby that was born during evacuation, or you know what, soon after. So if a baby was born, you know, a couple of months ago in April or, you know, in March, they're considered a wildfire ba baby because, you know, they were conceived during the wildfire, presumably. So they're, uh, they're doing a bit of a unique event there today. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's pretty unique. I mean, most of the events today have been quite somber and reflective, but this event in particular has a very happy mood. I mean, people aren't reflecting, but people are, you know, reflecting about all that was lost. But here we have a situation of things that arrived because of the wildfire or things that arrived after the wildfire, new life. So what we're seeing here is, I don't know if you can see it behind me, but families are taking photos. They're having photos taken of themselves with their wildfire babies. There was a group photo earlier taken where, you know, all the families, all the wildfire babies were together and they had individual photos. They were even taking photos um, according to the months that these children were born. So David, why a photo shoot? Why a photo shoot? So good question. I mean, there is a Facebook group that has about 200 members on it and most of them are moms. There's some dads on it and this it's a wildfire baby Facebook group and someone just threw it out there. You know, why don't we just take a group photo, a class photo, uh, you know, if you will, of all the wildfire babies and that's what they did. That's what they got organized today. There was a photographer who was on that group. She said, I have, I have a camera, I can do this. And that's what we have going on here today. Everybody has their stories about, you know, where they were, what was happening, like, like anything. You always have the story about where you were on that day. And a lot of these moms were pregnant during this time or, or in labor, like, you know, during this time. So, I mean, like, that's an amazing story. And, you know, and for the moms who weren't in labor and still carrying their babies, like, that's a tremendous task. So, David, what will happen with all of these photos now? So the plan is to, you know, each, each will copy, they'll probably post them to that Facebook group and people will presumably share them throughout the community and we'll get to, sh to, to see some of them. But they're hoping, they're hoping that, you know, all the moms will be willing to assemble the photos together and put out a calendar. So in 2018, we could be buying calendars with these wildfire babies. And safe to say that these families are going to be uh, pretty tight moving forward from now on. That's true. I mean, one mom said that, you know what, they are Fort Mac strong. They gave birth or they, you know, during the evacuation or during the re rebuild, that takes a lot of strength. This community has a lot of strength and they're raising a new generation that has a lot of strength. Thank you for this, David. Looks like quite a time. We've been speaking with David Thurton, who joined us from a Fire Babies photo shoot in Fort McMurray.